me computer uh, this is i3 computer you can see in here uh, this is the computer having a problem with the usb ports customer tell me uh, one time the one usb block then second time second and then third three usb ports from the side it's not working so i show you what's happening with the usb ports so this computer having a problem with the usb port you can see it's a totally damaged inside you can see it the three ports the clips and cables inside the connector is a broken so we are going to open it and we are going to repair it okay i show you how to open this sony computer and how to repair it okay thank you hold on let's see this is the sony computer model number something uh, right down here uh, pg6121 uh, 1m this is the computer so we are going to open it all the screws we have to remove out uh, one by one the screws we have to open and you can see this is the screws we are opening screwdriver with the screwdriver this is the nice screwdriver that always I use and because this is the accurate give the servicing for the computer screws it's 4a size small or 4a size big both we can do it okay you can check here I'm opening the screws all screws are open you can see here this is the hard drive cover this is the serum cover this is the backup place okay I show you open it and we will see what happening with the USB ports okay this is the computer we open the screws this is the hard drive uh, this is the memory card cover and this is the hard drive cover inside here the two screws we are going to open it also and we have to remove the hard drive first because that is uh, connected with the motherboard but the basis that is holding to the hard drive that is the casing of the hard drive is uh, screwed with the casing with the laptop body in laptop casing so we have to remove out first this one because this is very important part in the computer your data everything is inside so I'm going to show you uh, open the casing this is the CD-ROM we have to remove out no screw is it down okay let's we pull it from one side you can see we pull up and this is the cover on bottom cover is can remove out all screws open first and then we can move out okay guys this is the hard drive uh, place this you can see the strip cable inside flex cable or strip whatever you can see and this is the connected with the three USB port so we are going to open these parts these three USBs is not working it's damaged okay let's see this card have one screw we open this one and inside the cable that we have to remove out and clip open and this is can say the extended uh, sound card sound jack card and the USB ports inside so this is the things that you can see inside the USB ports it's a damage so we are going to change it either if you can you can buy this uh, uh, full piece of the part uh, so you can no need to change this one you can directly this whole piece the whole card is you can change it you can uh, buy a new one or second hand one and then you can uh, change in here if you don't have you cannot get it so or you can change the this USB ports only so that I'm going to show you how to change it let's see the USB socket part that uh, I have to repair this is the sockets of the Sony circuit board that was broken so you can see this is the blue part we have to give the temperature around uh, 430 40 centigrade you can put it and uh, this temperature is enough to uh, dissolve the uh, solder make it loose and uh, you have to give the hot air one by one in here so the temperature wants to go higher so then this uh, the bottom side the, the solder will melt and then uh, the USB ports can go up so this is the way one by one we can move out I show you I take out and then I show you the USB I show you the temperatures go higher you can see guys this is the USB this can move out and this uh, yes, this 
USB also come out and this one also come out okay. this is drop down USB ports two ports and three ports okay so this is the end this is the thing that we want to remove you can see the USB ports is a broken inside it's uh, not working properly so you can see and this is the third USB port okay we have here the okay USB ports so this is the USB ports we are going to fix it back exactly same condition how we take out same thing we have to put back I'll show you how so now uh, this is the empty card there we remove the USB ports inside so this is we are going to back to fix it and uh, put the new USB port exactly same thing that we was uh, removed this is the working one okay USB ports we put back on the same place you can see it exactly same places we have to put and let I show you how to do it work ok I show you now ok you can see it one USB port I put it and but haven't uh, give a hot air to go inside so let I show you how to do it uh, same thing ok you can see here I give the hot air here so this is the basis that I give hot uh, it's slowly slowly going to sit down and you can see once it's uh, hot air then it can rejoin back the connections you can see slowly it's getting in you can see the legs go inside the points and exactly the uh, side sockets also uh, the, uh, the holder of the body of the USB with the motherboard is sitting properly now so this is the way one by one we have to put in okay see so, yeah, this is the second usb that exactly sit down in the same condition you can see second usb put back and we are going to put it the third now okay and once we give the hot air temperature same thing this is the third usb that we are put back already i have put back so let's see i fix it give a hot air temperature make it the straight uh, USB is exactly from the side the hole of the casing there you have to put in the your USB cards or anything whatever you want to use it so I make it fix it properly and then I show you again yes, this is the part that we are just now fixed you can see it's little bit uh, the color is a uh, black from the sides because there is a negative circuit that's why it's get a uh, uh, little bit more temperature so color is a change of the USB metal my piece so this is the two three sockets we just changed these three the new USB ports and this our card is a repair already this is the card that that just now we was take out and it was not uh, the USB ports not working so the USB ports was a uh, broken and shorts inside so this is the thing that I want to show you it's accurately we repair and this is the very easy and small uh, way to short way to repair it so let I show you how to now we will close it back and check it in, okay okay guys this is the card just now we repair we fix it back we are going to close it this is we put back and you see the cable plug in and clip and this is the lock now it's USB ports all working uh, all how to need to work <laughs> it's working so let's we close it first this part was uh, having uh, one screw that I put back so I'm going to put back the cover now we are going to close it and we will check it okay that's exactly same places we sit we get it sit you can see it and put back some screws to let it uh, fix it back sorry guys I'm making this video with one hand I'm holding my handphone for a movie and one hand is working to screwing back the things so that's why maybe some things you cannot see accurately but I can show you uh, this is the way I'm doing and I'm speaking with it you can understand it very well this is the screws we're cl closing back This is a big screw from the side cover, the side 
casing this is some screws we are screwing back and put some more screws that is a left from the side body and can put inside the CD-ROM this is the CD-ROM and hard drive we, we will sit it back you see there's a two sockets inside the slot sockets and this is the hard drive socket you have to push inside then it's clipped in so this is the way how we close it and how it was open and this is the memory cover we put back sometime actually why I open always the memory cover because sometime below of here the places have a one of the screws so that's why sometimes we cannot move out the casing because uh, we don't know there's uh, some hidden screws inside so that also we have to remove out so let's guy I show you I'm going to close it I put back the all the screws and I will show you the other things okay Okay guys, almost this computer, I put back all the screws, covers, everything is closed back. So let's, we are going to check it on and we check it. If the customer don't have the password, then we can, we can check it at our USB ports. Okay, let's, I show you. Okay guys, this is a computer just now we was uh, changed the ports, USB ports and we are going to check it at how if uh, we don't have the passwords. So now it's uh, getting in the window. Uh, let's I take out one of the USB for the checking. I get the one of the USB. Okay, this is the computer. I think this computer don't have the password. It's almost entered in the window. So let's we check the USB first. Okay, this is the one of the USB we have in here. This is my driver pack. Uh, solution so this is you can see the system shows a window is uh, running now it's opening uh, let's we check it let it the, everything is activated then we can check the our USB ports okay guys our window is almost open so we are going to plug in this is the USB you can see I plug in here the first USB port I can show you uh, this is the first USB part I plug in and you can see here the pop-up the computer will pop up the USB sound and you can check it, it. a little bit slow and uh, okay you can see here okay this is the first sound you can hear tick tick and it's I think uh, read already so we go in the my computer and you can check it We go on my computer we can check in there this is my computer we plug clicked yeah, it's reading I think I show you guys this is the computer just now you check uh, I can show you here the USB is still reading uh, you can see here the sign the USB sign is the reading so it's mean our USBs are detecting and it's properly working because of the a lot of this uh, computer having a lot of data and maybe some wires or something that's why it's a bit slow so you can hear the sounds also tick tick that is mean they're going you can see it's showing now it's showing now the USB yeah it's detected you can see in here this is USB is up here this is the data that we have inside there's a driver pack and uh, office 2000 and there's activators some software so I show you the three USB ports one by one okay let's we remove first one USB and we are going to connect in the second you can see the sound it's pop up yeah it's reading again it means the second part also is okay USB port yeah it's detected so we cancel it and we're going to check in the third and this is the last part USB port okay this is connected you can hear the sound the software is pop up yeah it's read it's read almost okay this is the way you can check everything easily you can learn more 
things you can learn more work if you have any problems dears you can call me uh, you can ask me by email comments with me watch my videos and like it comments and give me the feedbacks and i will show with you uh, i will show you some more experience that i have in my working okay in my working field so let's check in other videos this this was a sony computer that i was uh, get it for the usb ports and we done it perfectly that's all okay guys uh, this is me Bilal that I was uh, just now showing you my repairing experience and uh, next time I will give you the, some more easy topics and easy tips to repair the computers and I will share with you my uh, years and years experience and uh, you can have uh, easy to learn the how to repair the computers and uh, how to change the parts next videos I will show you how to check the short circuit and how to verify the short parts and remove and then we can change it i will show with you the in the future videos see my videos and comments and give the likes and uh, if anything you know about more and you can share with me i will agree with you to everything thank you very much